Welcome to Style with a Smile. I'm Jonathan Fong. I can't believe Halloween is just around the corner. So to think up some Halloween projects, I'm going to have to conjure up some magic. Oh, now that's what I call magic, Rip Dye. Today, I'm going to show you three really fun and easy ideas for Halloween projects using Rip Dye. So let's start. First up are these faux mercury glass candle holders. Aren't they gorgeous? I made them in orange and purple. I love how this purple one turned out. They look like real mercury glass, but they're just made with Rip Dye and Mod Podge, if you can believe it. They're so easy to make, it's scary. We'll start with this glass candle holder that I got at the dollar store for a dollar. We're going to be covering the inside of the glass container with a mixture of Rit Dye and Mod Podge. So I'm going to take a plastic cup and pour some Mod Podge in here. And then I have some Rit Dye here. And this is the purple Rit Dye. Then I'll just stir it up. Now to give it that mercury glass look, you want to add some glitter. So I'm just sprinkling a bunch of glitter. You can't have too much glitter in here. See that? And I'm just going to mix it all up. So just take a foam brush and just paint the inside of it. Have some paper below to catch any drip. But this is as easy as it is. Look at that. I guess it would help if I got this in the camera lens. And if you're tripping it on the outside, you can just wipe it off. So don't worry about it. See how easy that is? Already, it's kind of looking like mercury glass. Now, you'll see that it's a little foggy because that's the Mod Podge. But when it dries, it's going to dry clear. And what's left is just the purple color. So I kind of like to put some vertical strokes on here. For some reason, I think that makes it more, look more realistic. You can never have too much glitter, right? So I'm gonna sprinkle some more glitter randomly on the inside. And after you've added more glitter in there, just take the brush and even all the glitter out. And boy, that looks great. and just let it dry overnight. When everything's dry, just put some ribbon at the rim and finish it off with some LED candles. Wow, now that's magical. Now first I showed you the beauty, now it's time for the beast. <laughs> I made this green monster hand with Rit Dye. Now this will make a great table decoration that'll creep everybody out. To make the monster hand, we'll need a white cotton glove, and you can get these gloves at any art supply store. To dye the glove, I'm using a product from RIP called Color Perfect. The great thing about Color Perfect is that the color comes pre-mixed, and it comes with its own applicator. Because it has its own applicator, you just paint the dye on. It's as easy as that. Now make sure you wear gloves because this does get messy and work on a plastic sheet so you don't get dye all over the place. But look, it's just so easy to just paint the dye on with the applicator. So just go all the way around and do both sides of the glove. When the glove is dry, we have a green hand. Well, it's not exactly a hand yet. We need to give it life. So we need to fill up the fingers and we're gonna do that with some polyester batting. Just cut up little pieces of polyester batting and stick them in the fingers. So now I filled in all the fingers and the palm with some batting. To really give this hand some articulation, I have a piece of wire here and I'm going to insert the wire through the batting and into the finger. So now we could actually bend the finger. Pretty cool, huh? And for the matching green fingernails, I got these press-on nails from the costume store and I just glue them on. These monster hands will look great all over the house for Halloween, but they also make wonderful place card holders because the hand holds the place card. 
Okay, I've shown you something beautiful, something beastly, and now time for something gross. And I mean bloody gross. See these flowers over here? They may look beautiful, but they bleed blood. Gross! It's so cool. Let me show you how I do it. To make these bloody roses, start with some silk flowers and then add a dab of glue in between two petals. And I just need to do that for a few petals here on the rose. And then just sprinkle some red Rit Dye powder onto the glue so it gets stuck right there. And then the petals hide the powder. And now, say you put these flowers on your table for your Halloween party and you invite your guests to spritz some water on the flowers because the flowers look like they need some water. <laughs> now look what happens when you water the flowers. See the blood dripping there? Oh, that's bloody wonderful. <laughs> oh, make sure you have a glass plate underneath to catch all the blood because you don't want it to get all over your table and then your linens. That's sweet. Now that you've seen how fun it is to create with Rit Dye for Halloween, I hope you'll be inspired too to make something beautiful, bloody, or beastly. Bye. First off are these orange faux mercury, faux mercury glass candle holders. Faux mercury glass candle holders. Oh yeah, that feels good. Right there. Daddy like.